Hello and gents, Rook here and welcome to Unreal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the spatial conform or spatial conform. I'm honestly not quite sure how to say that but let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys it's in found in Final Cut Pro in the inspector option and uh, this is actually very good for images or videos that are basically not the correct size and you're trying to fit them on your actual screen that way when you export it it's taking up the full screen and you don't have like letter box or or cut off areas within the actual video so what we're going to do is just the best way to explain this i'm going to go ahead and grab this image that i have here and i'm going to place it down into my timeline here now open up the inspector pane we scroll all the way down to where it says spatial uh conform sped i'm, I'm honestly I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly, but right now it defaults to fit. Basically, it will fit um, the image to the actual uh, video the, the way the, at its best, stretching the actual image to fit to look uh, as if it was taking up the full screen. Um, but then also you can go to fill, and this will take up the entire screen. And then you can also go to none, which will reduce your image. I mean, it will put the, your image to 100% regarding its size to your actual uh movie for example let's say your movie here my project i believe is set up in uh, 10 1080p so the image is quite not that large so it's going to be it's 100 percent it's going to be smaller than the actual footage and this is actually the best way to work with an image that way it keeps all, all its pixels and it's not distorted of any sort and from here you can actually make it a picture in picture and drag it right on top of a video for example like this and then uh, you can actually go ahead whoops if i can get it here I'm gonna move my play ahead here just over the actual image. That way we can actually go ahead. We should be able to grab this image. If we go up to the transform, we can go ahead and simply and highlight this option here. We can go ahead and drag this image wherever we'd like, just like this. And then from here, we can also expand it as we please as well. But that's the basics of the spatial conform. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life be